Good morning, Mid Michigan. It's Wednesday, November 8th. I'm Jorma Duran. And I'm Kiera Lake. Thanks for joining us. We're here for you now at the six things to know about as you start your day. Six News is your local election headquarters, and we now have election day results from across Mid Michigan. Here in Lansing, two new faces will be on the city council starting in January, and two other candidates will keep their posts. Those two new faces include Tamara Carter and Trini Lopez Pelivanaglu, who will replace outgoing at large council members Carol Wood and Patricia Spitzley. Carter received more than 8,600 votes, and Pelivanaglu followed behind with more than 8,400 votes. Adam Hussein and Ryan Cost held on to their positions in the Lansing City Council. Hussein kept his spot in Ward 3 with more than 2,300 votes, and Cost held on to the first ward position with more than 2,400 votes. And we're here for you now with election results from Jackson, where residents voted to keep their mayor in office, but largely turned down a proposed Jackson College millage. The mayor's race was a rematch between Daniel Mahoney and John Wilson, with Mahoney getting reelected with nearly 400 more votes than Wilson. Also in Jackson, voters in three city wards cast their ballots for seats on the city council. Incumbent Freddie Dancy remains in his seat and Connor Woodwill will win the ward four race. And in the sixth ward, Will Forgrave will keep his seat. And when it came to the Jackson College millage proposal, residents turned it down and it would have restored the school's original charter millage of a 1.33 for security and maintenance by nearly 2,500 votes. Now to East Lansing, only three out of the eight candidates wanting a city council seat would get one, and here they are. Carrie Ebersole Singh led the way with more than 3,300 votes. Former Mayor Mark Meadows followed behind with a little bit more than 2,400 votes, and Eric Altman collected a little bit more than 2,300 votes. The new members are expected to take office on Tuesday. Now, if you'd like to see results we didn't cover, you can check out our website at WLNS.com forward slash your local election headquarters, as well as on our app. 